Did you just oh. say you haven't seen any? No. no. We haven't seen any of the oh, footage. We haven't seen any of the footage because mm. it's been really full on for the last yeah. few months. Um, so they haven't got the time to show yeah. us footage and OK it. Yeah, it's, it's just crazy. So the build-up is, is taking quite a long time, so that, then the nerves start to kick in even more, I suppose, because the length of time you've yes. got to prepare. Yes, yeah, so we've had a, a lengthy you know, lead-up to the performance on Wednesday night, which is going to be shown on Thursday night. Um, so, yeah, we've, we've kind of got a lot of nerves, but then it's crept so quickly, I said no. And then I spoke to my husband, Hugh, and he said, you're crazy. You're trying to tell all these women out there, you know, to be confident and who may be going through the same thing as you. If you can't do it and you've got, you know, confidence, then they can't be confident in their body and their scars. So I was like, OK. Fine, and then mm. Colleen rang me and persuaded me even more. She's very I just persuasive. Doing She's it. very they, persuasive. They, if I'm yeah. doing it, you're doing it. Yeah. Yeah. Off, hung um, up on her. That was it. That was <laughs> it. She hung up. Just in case people don't know, so you found out you had the BRCA2 gene, um, and so you had decided to have a double mastectomy, yeah. and then you also had a hysterectomy. Yeah, that's right. Because you said you couldn't bear to think of your children. Yes. Their mom. Yeah. So I had an 85% risk of breast cancer and a 40% risk of ovarian cancer. So. Five years ago, I had the double mastectomy reconstruction, and three years ago, I had a total hysterectomy straight after I had my second child. So that obviously plunges me straight into menopause, mm -hmm. and um, I can no longer have my own. I can no longer have children. Basically, it's been yeah, it's been a very turbulent mm -hmm. six years. Mm -hmm. But you know, anyone who's got young children know how much time they take up mm -hmm. of your life as well. Mm -hmm. So I haven't really had time to really grieve or think about it. So when we do things like this show, mm. you know, The Real Fermenti, I kind of see it as a bit of therapy and I get a lot out of it. And that's another reason why I'm doing and it. And everybody involved, as we said, their, their lives have been touched by breast cancer. Obviously yes. you with, with Bernie yeah. and Linda. Yeah. And that's why and you're doing it. And I know you're terrified. Oh, I've loved every minute. I mean, we really genuinely, I know it sounds a bit showbiz, but we all have genuinely bonded. Yeah. I think because of what we're doing it for and the fact that we all have our own personal reasons mm. as well for doing it. So we've all got on, we've had mm. such a laugh. Of course, being choreographed by Ashley Banjo isn't a really bad thing. No, it, they all are it's, very, amazing, it's very easy but... on the eyes, so, isn't it? I really enjoyed it, but I am absolutely having sleepless yeah. nights. About woke the yourself actual, up, didn't you? I woke myself up the other the night, shouting out, oh, I can't do it! <laughs> yeah, so let's, it, yeah. Let's just uh, go back. So what you're, you're actually doing is you're doing a dance routine. Yes. What are you wearing in the dance routine? Oh, God. Do you know what? I, the fellas at ITV are really strict and we're not like to say anything. Oh, but okay. it's, it's, it's really but amazing. you're not naked in the dance routine. So th there's a four second bit at the end. That's what the nightmares is, are about, yeah, right? Seconds yeah, there's, yeah. A, there's, there is the, the massive reveal at the end. Whether we go yeah, through with it, where we, whether we go through <laughs> with it, it's, I suppose it's, it's on our... It's in our hands to say but there's quite a lot of the routine that were pretty you know yeah yeah naked ish yeah. yeah cool what are you dreading the most what am i dreading what the are most? you dreading about this whole thing what are you dreading um i'm just it's not even dreading and, and it's not a body confidence thing with me i'm i'm shy when it comes to you know i've never been one to sunbathe topless it doesn't bother me other people doing mm. it you know, I don't, I don't care mm. who sunbeds topless or breastfeeding and all that, but I've never been able to be that kind of person in public. So for me, it's just the, the shyness of going, here they are, here's yeah. the girls, <laughs> um, here's the twins. <laughs> but I must say, I have seen them and I, and I put makeup all over your she boobies. Put makeup and, and her I boobies are amazing. <laughs> Honestly, I had the best time ever doing that. Just really quickly, because what you said earlier about it's been six years of hell and everything that you've gone through is, is so massive. Have yeah. you had counselling at all for any of that? I did have initially when I found out I was BRCA positive and then I... You've me me being me, no, me being me said, I don't need it, thought I could just get on with it. Well, listen, talking Hard. about confidence, we're going to... I'm sorry to interrupt right. you, just because I've got a little surprise for you. Colleen knows who's here. Uh, we've got the Speakmans who want to come and see if they can help you. With those. OK. You're going, to, you're going to actually include all of us in this, aren't you, about how you talk to yourself and imagine yourself, people, other people saying nice things about yes, you. We, we want everyone to get involved. Um, I said earlier, you might need a piece of pen. A piece of pen? A piece of pen. <laughs> a paper, a pencil or a pen, because we've got a little experiment which we'll carry out after the break. So, what would you like to say to Michelle, just very briefly? Okay. Well, as far as you go, Michelle, we're going we're gonna to work with you um, and just really to help you see just how beautiful you are. 
really. And, and I then, hope everybody yeah. else sees you. And then very quickly to all of us, what would you like to say? Well, I can try. We've, got, we've only got about 30 seconds, so what do you want us to do over this break and people at home for the confidence? OK, well, the thing is, low self-esteem, um, it's usually down to a fear of being judged. Like I say, low self-esteem is a big thing about confidence. If you've never done something before, that's really fearful as well. And, and a big one is comparing yourself to others. One thing that's really important is when we look in the mirror, we look for imperfections and we look through the eyes of criticism. We want you to consider looking through the eyes of love, so we want you to ask your partner, your children, children, your friends, what they see when they look at you, make, th make that list and then stick it on the mirror where you clean right, your well, teeth twice a day. Right, well, we're going to do that list. We're going to do that list. You're going to take Michelle off okay. Okay. and do some of your fantastic okay. work with her. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. So remember... Things that, things that your friends or your partners, your family say to you that you don't always believe yourself. Try and write those down and we'll talk about it a bit later.